what's up guys welcome back so we have some updates on milky way looks like we're gonna be receiving the airdrop between april or june because they said it will be for q2 2024 they also started a point system so that means if you're staking some ta if you're holding some milk ta you're gonna be receiving some points but also you're gonna be receiving some points in the future if you have been staking before the point system so even if you're not seeing your total points you should have more than the amount of points that you're currently seeing so for example right now i have 243 i have been staking around 18 19 milk ta but that amount should actually increase because i, I have been staking it for a longer uh, maybe one month or a little bit more than that so let's go ahead and check it out and see how we can get some points and also participate for the R drop so my global ranking right now is 55k i have a total points of 243 i have no points for DeFi activity because i have been holding my milk ta and doing nothing with it um, so basically you can earn some points there in the future we could also earn some points by using refer activity bonus points which might be for zilly task and some other things then multipliers so if we check how it works you guys can see yeah we will have some zilly tasks if you have been holding it previous um, before the point system you're going to be earning also some more points um some campaigns and everything else now when talking the point the m point system will be in full swing throughout early 2024 with an order drop of 10% of the total supply planned for endpoint holders at TGE. So if we also check here, the airdrop is planned for Q2. So that means April to June, we should be receiving the airdrop. Now, if you don't know what is Milk Kiway or Milk TA, it is an LST platform on Celestia. Pretty huge project. Currently, they have a total value of um, $45 million dollars and almost 2.5 million TA stake. Most likely that amount should continue to increase in the future. And usually we can get pretty good R drops um, out of LST platform. The only thing that I don't like is really the point system, but still, if that is the way, also it is a confirmed R drop now. So at least we know we're gonna be receiving um, an R drop out of it. Also, another thing to mention is that if you're staking TIA with Milky Way, most likely that can help you to be eligible for future airdrop. So we saw that for Outlayer, that if you have been staking 35 TA either on a validator or with Milky Way, you would be eligible for an airdrop. So hopefully in the future, most likely, um, we might be taking into consideration for other airdrops. So that's what I am doing. For example, with that wallet, I have um, almost 19, 18.97. TIA stake and I'm planning to purchase just a little bit more every Monday just to increase my allocation and obviously earn some more points now next step would be to also use some DeFi projects so you can also earn some points we have the option to use osmosis which is providing some liquidity which is milk TIA and TIA so that is the only bad part you will need 50% also in TIA for you to participate then we have Mars Protocol, which is a project that I don't really like because they are not really providing APR on our Milky Way. So at the moment, I think I'm going to be skipping it. We have Margin, which is a per platform. But to be honest, the one that I like the most is Demex. One, because it is tokenless. So if I'm staking my Milk TA, I'm going to be um, earning some points. And hopefully in the future, I can also receive an order job for Demex. And um, I don't need I don't need TIA. If I want to stake with Demex, I only need Milk TIA. The only thing is that sometimes it is at max capacity, so make sure to just refresh until you see if you're able to stake some funds. Quasar is another one that is good, but again, same issue. I'm gonna need some TIA to stake my Milk TIA. So if I'm staking um, 10 milk ta most likely i'm gonna need, need anywhere between 9 to 10 ta to to stake it on quasar so i would most likely just use demex once i choose if i end up using um demex i'm gonna be creating a video to show you guys the process but at the moment this is the only thing that i'm doing just purchasing a little bit more staking it and holding it and also i'm pretty bullish on the price of um ta so for me it is a just like a long-term investment 
that I can also earn some airdrop and also receive some other benefits out of it. So there you go. Just a quick update. Let me know if you have any questions, um, any doubt. And that's it. Happy farming, guys. Bye-bye.